Being a tomboy as a kid, love to make things, love to get dirty. If there was ever anything that needed to be put together, I was the one doing it. In fact, my dad was like, here you go, put this desk together, and I'd, in no time it would be up. I love power tools. Love, 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 love. For me, it was always like finding this balance of engineering and industrial design. One side's like left side of the brain, the other one's right side. It wasn't until I worked with IKEA that it all made sense for me. So while I was in school, I saw this flyer about this woman who was coming to speak. A mechanical engineer working in toys. I'm like, oh, this is kind of exciting. And then she works for IKEA. I am like, this is my hero. I have to meet this person. So I finally met her. We hit it off really, really well. A year later, she sends me an email saying, hey, do you want to work on a playmat for us? I'm like, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, I do, I would love to. I spent some time cranking out as many ideas as I could for a playmat. What I was really excited to do was like kind of push playmat further and see what it could really mean. So that's what I did. The playmat that I came up with, it's a Lazy Susan that's about this tall. It's about this big. You can stand on it and you can just do this. Two to three year olds, they'll sit on there and like kind of slowly play back and forth. The older kids, man, they were just like rambunctious, lay on it on their belly and just spin as fast as possible. It was cool to see like the full range of play that you could get out of this, this object. The snorg, it means spinning in Swedish. I was told that it was going to come out like a year and a half away. So I would go by every once in a while just to see if it was out and uh, it was never out. The one time I went, I just happened to go by, I had to get some stuff, and there it was. And I freaked out. Like, there's a kid playing it, and that's my, like, how cool is that? And he didn't get hurt. I think little Judy would have loved this product. I think, honestly, there's a little bit of selfishness there. I think I kind of designed my favorite toy for myself when I was a kid.